We have a very balanced practice, and about a third of the patients come to see us are going to have some sort of surgery, usually facial plastic surgery, rhinoplasty, or aging face surgery. A third come in for skin rejuvenation, and a third come in for what we call minimally invasive techniques, such as Botox uh, or other neurotoxins, uh, and filler injections. I think probably the most exciting thing to come along in fillers is the ability to inject fillers right under the eyelid. Uh, previously it was thought that this might be a little bit dangerous, but with the production of blunt cannulas, we can now, through a very small little pinprick, you know, layer this filler under the eyes. And the results for this treatment can be dramatic for a non-surgical treatment. When we see patients for filler injections, usually, you know, they've developed deep creases or folds, uh, and infrequently this kind of hollow and sunkenness under the eyes. Uh, Voluma and some of the other products that we use can also be used to augment cheeks and to simulate what used to require surgery in the form of a cheek implant. So we can kind of balance out these features and also fillers are very good for lip creases and we see a lot of older patients that uh, have developed pretty deep creases that affect their ability to wear lipstick and so fillers can be used very well for lip creases. Fillers are called dermal fillers, and so uh, as a wrinkle fighter, we can inject them you know, directly into a wrinkle, but uh, also more commonly, they fill in depressed areas. And the depressed areas can be uh, the lines along the corners of the, the mouth here called the nasolabial folds, the areas under the eyes, and sometimes deep kind of creases that occur along the mouth, which we call marionette lines. Most of the fillers we use are called hyaluronic acid fillers or HA fillers, but there is one filler called Sculptra, which is injected in the face, and it sort of develops a global volumization for patients with very thin faces. So that's done in a series of two treatments, and it works over time, whereas the uh, results from HA fillers are generally immediate. We have very few side effects from injectables, uh, and so a very good safety profile. And next to Botox and neurotoxins, uh, the most common cosmetic treatment performed internationally.